We saw massive split second wicks of GameStop's price wicking up from the $20 range all the way up to the $70 range. Some people call these whale teeth. You can see that they are properly adjusted if you watched it in real time, changing your account value by over 100%. Now, extended trading hours sold out of sequence identifies a trade that takes place outside of regular market hours and is reported as an extended hours trade out of sequence at a different time different from the actual transaction time. This is a trade that is printed or reported at a different time than the actual transaction time, basically. It can include transactions that are printed late or when later transactions have been reported for the same options contract, etc., etc. Here are some screenshots. These were not showing up on the trading view chart, but you can see them on Webull, you can see them on eTrade, you can see them on several different platforms. Why they didn't show up on trading view, your guess is as good as mine. However, this is still market manipulation. Some people that were purchasing back here, they put those orders aside, they never fulfilled them, and when they were knocking the price down, you saw that shark teeth during after hours, and these were out of sequence transactions. What is going on guys, Lottery Socks here, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're new. First of all, happy birthday to Keith Gill, aka Roaring Kitty. I find it amazing that all of this is happening right around his birthday as well, but we need to talk about the live stream, and then we need to talk about what is coming Monday, and what... Keith Gill has up his sleeve going forward. All I ask you to do is hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on. Let's get into it. First of all, I just want to say last night I posted that Keith Gill, aka Roaring Kitty's live stream was extremely disappointing. And at first I thought that and it was out of anger for sure because a lot of friends, right? Myself holding call options, them becoming worthless. This was not his fault. This was market manipulation. And I've come to realize that I was not actually disappointed with Roaring Kitty's stream. And I'm going to explain why right now. First of all, there were 650,000 people in there when I was watching the stream. It was a 50-minute stream. He got 2.2 million views in total as of right now. And somehow lost a little bit of subscribers, at least from what I remember seeing. Right, right around 5,000 subscribers or so. Now, what do you see in this picture? Okay. This is what I want to talk about. This is fear, okay, from Short Seller. This is Andrew from Citron Research shorting GameStop once again. This looks like fear. This looks like confidence. And that's exactly what I wanted to pull out of this live stream coming into next week. Now, Roaring Kitty trolled through the live stream. And it almost felt like he was trolling us in a sense that why aren't you saying what we want you to say? Exercise those contracts. I know you guys felt it. He didn't inform us of anything we were unaware of. He didn't provide instructions. He didn't provide any guidance on finances. And he didn't increase the cost. He didn't pump the stock. This could have all been a show to make hedgies, mark makers look like clowns. They're all afraid of some guy in a costume drinking beer and not knowing how long the halts are, right? If you didn't watch the live stream all the way through, Roaring Kitty was like, oh, I didn't even know halts for five minutes. Oh, okay. Now, he didn't give them any ammunition to paint him as the one as manipulating the stock, which is genius because they were watching his stream. There was, there was feds in that stream waiting for him to slip up. There's no doubt about it. And he touched on every little key point so they didn't have anything on him. He even trolled E-Trade, right? He was mocking them. Roaring Kitty mockingly threatening E-Trade after they weighed kicking him off exchange by deleting their logo was pretty funny, right? He said, don't make me do it. Don't make me. But I seen those headlines. E-Trade. E-Trade. I see those headlines. I got to check. I'm checking in every day. I'll log in. I'm like, are my positions still there? Are they still there? Let me check. They're still there. Wait, they're still there. Okay, they're still there. I actually, I wasn't even like paying attention to the details. They're still there. But I'm, each morning, I'm like, I, I don't know what's happening. So I go, all right, well, don't make me. Don't make me, but E-Trade, I'll do this with HTML. I'll do that. <laughs> don't make me. Don't make me remove it. What else can we take out of that stream? Roaring Kitty, aka Keith Gill, was a few dollars away per share from being a billionaire in pre-market on that day. And he showed his position on stream once again. He was down $235 million on the day. Okay. Whatever your call options are looking like, whatever your shares are looking like, you don't have to be upset. If this guy looks this happy and is down $235 million on the day, then you can assume that this is just getting started. And that's the message I don't want to get out there. This is not over. This is just getting started. I think $60 as of right now, depending on this guy's confidence, depending on how much Roaring Kitty ends up coming out, 
right? That is the base level for this squeeze. That is not even getting started for the squeeze. There's definitely a lot to pull from this live stream, but there's almost nothing to pull at the same time. You got a guy coming out and him talking to an eight ball, him messing around, him talking about the company, about Ryan Cohen, etc., etc. Just like he did back in the day. He showed his OG self, his goofy personality, and he talked about the stock. That's all he did. This made the news outlets, the ones writing the articles, right? The ones doing the interviews, Citadel, the mark makers, the short sellers, Citron, all look so stupid. This guy has a cat as his YouTube background, a cat as his YouTube picture. He's wearing a headband, a cast, band-aids on his face with sunglasses, laughing, joking about the stock with over 600,000 people in it. And every single time he says, watch this, or hey, let's look at this, they halt the stock, right? They are so afraid. They're like walking on eggshells. That's how broken and scared this market is of Roaring Kitty. Now, one more thing to say before we touch on the data and the charts coming into the week. Roaring Kitty was wearing the same hand wrap as Bruce in the Kansas City shuffle scene you can see right here. Take this with a grain of salt, but for those who don't know, in the movie, Bruce Willis, character Mr. Good Cat, explains the concept of a Kansas City shuffle. The scene takes place in a bus terminal where Good Cat is telling a story about a fixed horse race and a con living in Kansas City shuffle. Kansas City shuffle is described as a con where everyone looks right, but you go left. It's a trick where the mark is aware of being conned and thinks they can outsmart the con artist only to be blindsided by an even more complicated scheme. Does this sound familiar, right? It sounds exactly like the live stream. In the movie, the Kansas City Shuffle is used as a plot device to manipulate the characters into hiring their own killers, one of whom they believe be a patsy. The scene is a pivotal moment in the film, setting up the complex web of deception and intrigue that unfolds throughout the story. Of course, take these conspiracies with a grain of salt, but it does match up. Now, yesterday, shorts more than quadrupled their short position. Shorts never closed in 2021. They never closed now, and now the short volume is double what we saw back in 2021 during that squeeze, just showing you how much more this thing can run if it starts to kick off. Look at how many short exempts were for yesterday. 4.1 million on GameStop with only a 400 million float after the share offering. If it went through already, right after the dilution, that's disgusting. AMC, 2 million back to back after 1.3 after 400,000. Still extremely high for any given ticker. This is GameStop, 45 minute time frame. It's pretty self explanatory. If Roaring Kitty doesn't even come out and do much, I still think the stock is going back up to at least $50 to $58. Okay, that's what I see between 50 and 60 it's going to come up once again before flushing lower if roaring kitty comes out and does something else this is just the start okay this is just the beginning and i want to watch 94 dollars at first then of course where those call options become in the money at 100 and 125 and then people talking about 160 so on and so forth i think this is not over you're seeing swings up 50 percent after hours then down 40 percent the next day 100% day is likely, right? It's not even that unlikely anymore to get 100% day, 300% day, followed by another 300% day, right? It doesn't even matter. That's how that's how likely it is for that to happen, right? You could see a 400% day. Who knows? Depending on what happens with Roaring Kitty and what he does going forward, and keep in mind, he still has those call options that he can exercise, and this is the last week for him to exercise those or roll those. That is a beautiful thing to see. What we have Monday all the way to Friday next week is a fuck ton of calls that are about to potentially be exercised by basically the leader of this movement, and that's something that we're watching with AMC as well as GameStop. Overall, it's been tracking identically to the cycle that we have drawn out. I'm not worried one bit i'm excited going into this amc this is something that you could see amc is posed to have a larger move than gamestop later down the line if it played out the same as it did back in 2021 take that with a grain of salt as well amc could blast off right now with gamestop it also saw some sharp teeth as well coming up to six dollars and fifty cents so on and so forth so just keep that in mind Overall, guys, that is what I got for today's video. While the weekend is here, come talk with me in the Discord so you don't miss out. Talk with the most amazing people, stocks, and crypto all day long. We are all trying to become financially free together. There are no bad questions, whether you're a beginner or advanced trader. This is the place to go. It's the third link under the video. It's a coffee a month. We also have options trading alerts in there. I post my trades as soon as I take them and more. Also, the second link under the video, if you want up to 15 free stocks, 
8.1% APY on your uninvested cash, level two order book data for free, access to trading options, going long, going short, viewing other exchanges, and more. Use my link, open a Moomoo account, and deposit into there. Do not sleep on it. If you haven't completed all those steps, which take two minutes out of your day, go do it. Open an account through the link and make a deposit. Lastly, my custom indicator, pattern detection forecasting. This is the top link under the video. If you don't have it yet, this will help your trading journey by a long shot. It gives you automatic patterns on the small, medium, big, or macro perspectives and forecast what the stock might do. This is the top link under the video. You can go get your free trial right now before implementing it. Go try it out, guys. Those links are under the video in the description. And I'll also pin them in the comments. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Lottery Socks out.